So any profit on any of this is now out the window pretty much. Because not only do we need a tire, which that that's just life. Um, but the oil, the tire, it's not like we were making a profit anyways, but I also own a farm. Here we go. You are now watching the 2024 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. It is the calm before the storm. So they have changed us to, I believe, eight to 10 inches of snow now. Um, we don't need that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, take the stock chopper off, move the buckets. Well, take the forks off. Put the bucket on, move my gooseneck out, get the plow on this. We do have to move that pile because Robert never burned it. He got busy. We gotta clean up our mess here. I'm giving that thing to the last moment as far as curing time before we go try it. Um, the truck can be back here around 12. So, what time is it? 7.38, 8 o'clock right now? Just finished up editing a video for you guys, and uh, how are you guys doing? We got snow coming. It's not going to be good. It is winter, though, but alrighty, I'm going to get the 27 started up, and uh, hopefully we have a good morning for us, and we can, uh, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. If that don't work, cut my loss on that corn and mow it down. So I got like an acre or two between right here, right there, and over there that I cannot mow strictly because the ground is so soft still. Last night I came through, you can see right there the ruts from this little tractor trying to get through everything. It is amazing how wet it's been. I, I'm hoping 2024 is, uh, I know Mother Nature is going to play a game no matter what. I'm hoping it's more cons... Well, it was consistently wet. I'm hoping we just get a better average of everything. A little more sunlight, a little less rain. Uh, a little more heat. But can't play that game. So, just like we are only supposed to get like 4 to 6 inches. Now it's 8 to 10 and who knows? We'll probably get like 12 to 14, so I'm not looking forward to that at all. Had to pull the gooseneck out of the way. Got the wood moved out from out front. I know everybody gets worked up. Well, not everybody. There's a few people that that makes their day that it's still there and they have the right ever coming. And I find it funny, so that's why I kind of left it there. Hasn't bothered me. We just pushed over here though. But we do have to burn both of those and that, so. At some point when we get time to just stand around the fire, we'll just move everything right there and burn everything and be done. So I had to move the gooseneck out of the way because, uh, well, still got yet our arms to put on the planter. We got some planter things going on. And then uh, we have the snow plow that goes on the 2755. We also have the big blade that goes on the 7520. The hitch is on, it's easy enough to hook up, but this should do us good. Um, came with the tractor and it's been sitting here so I'm gonna pick it up get it out of the way but then the today this will go on bucket will get out of the way
Yesterday I thought there was a 10% chance of that working, or two nights ago, I guess. And uh, as far as sealing that up, I'm at about five right now. Like a thought. I gotta do something to, we're not pulling that apart right now. It's just not in our, not in our plans. That's the summer when it's warm, when we can take the duels off, have it sit outside and get the cover off, get the pumps. I think we're taking duels off, I don't know. And honestly, I just need to run for like an hour. And now I'd be done. So I'm gonna climb underneath there and see what it looks like as of now. It said 15 to 24 hours of curing. Um, I did just see a drip. I don't know what that just came from. Uh, oh, he's friggin' something. It's still sticky. It's not dry. Oh my God, we're not gonna get anything done. It's dripping right there. So what's left is roughly two grand. Um, that's after trucking everything else like that. We're putting cheap, cheap oil in it because it's running right out. Don't worry about it. I know the hydro needs low, vo low viscosity, but $50 a pail, $44 a pail or something. Currently I have a bunch of, well actually this rubbery mat that Keith Munns hooked me up with this spring and I have yet to use any of it. I cut a bunch of pieces and I put it all around that and I got two ratchet straps that are holding them, holding it all tight. So I'm gonna start it up, I got it filled up and see if that just slows the leak down. That's all I need is it for, to slow down. I just want to see. She's cold. So it takes a little bit because it's got air in the line, work it around. Nope, still dripping. I might just get more hydraulics and we just finish it. Just, just crank it out. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna get the 7520 started. It goes back to, so if I spend $300 in oil, yeah, we should fix it. But, like I said, we're gonna get, they're saying 13 inches of snow next week. We're not gonna get back on this. We're like, today is our last day. Well, if 2024 is like this, I'm not looking forward to it. Um, I'm literally just gonna send it when it stops moving, put some more oil in it put some more oil in it and get this done we're gonna have to run get oil Isaiah's out moving sawdust he's gonna be here after like we don't have a choice the worst thing. 
everything, but at the end of the day, we're got nine buckets of oil that's all they had left of that real cheap stuff um, I'm hoping we don't have to use all the oil coming out of the, sh out of the tractor supply is the parking lot is horrible there in Coble skills so if anybody knows anybody like can we get that fixed it's been horrible since I went to school here I hit a pothole and the cart literally flipped over and all the oil came out I'm glad none of them blew apart that would have been real awkward nobody saw it either which was amazing but I smashed the cart into my stomach. I got a Celsius, which I've been trying to drink less Mountain Dew. And uh, I've been trying to drink less Mountain Dew and I've been drinking a lot more water, you know. New year, new me. So grab the Celsius and smash that can right into myself. So there's a dent in that. But we're gonna get back. Um, and keep pushing. That's all we can do. I've had a bunch of people hit me up since I started combining today. And they said, you get it fixed? And I was like, no, here's here's what's going on. And they said, we've had that happen. So it's not like, in the world of farming, there's a lot of times where you just gotta send it even though there, it's not the best thing in the world. And you just gotta get it done. That That's really what it is. And it's just, some days it's a struggle. I was hoping today was gonna be a good day. This morning has not been a good day. It's 11.30 now and we really, we got some stuff done around the shop and the snow plows out and that wood's moved and we're ready for snow at least to some degree. But uh, some people with their vehicles, I don't even know. So, alrighty, I'm gonna get back and get going. I'm driving along and I hit something. It was in the road. I don't know what it was, but trucks start shaking, things start doing bad things. And so I don't know, I don't see any dents in the rim. There's gotta be a hole in the tire somewhere. The gentleman stopped and I don't, I don't, I, kind of recognized him but I didn't recognize him and he said you need a ride and he said he was running to Napa and I said if I'm still here when you come back grab me which I take it I will be um, and I'll go get the white truck come down here it's hooked to the land all and drive this on and white truck to save me again that is such a so dumb well, it's going to sit here and look homeless. Isaiah's going by. We'll go drop this load of sawdust and grab the white truck. And... What, what's the problem? You have zero problems in 2024. I have a lot going on right now. Oh, oh the white truck saving the day again. Pretty handy for all my breakdowns. Hey, hauling and breakdowns, recovering. That's all it does. Second time this year the truck's been on it. 
If you don't own a Landall, get one. They're very handy. Loaded, ready to go. What was that, five minutes? Not even? Oh, yeah. Pretty good. <laughs> Where's my phone? Previously, I didn't see where the tire had an issue, but uh, I got it off. I said, well, if it's just a pinhole, I'll throw uh, some tire jet in it. And I don't know if you guys are going to see it either, but. Yeah, there's, there's a huge gash right there. So, yep, it slices up through here. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, I got a spare that we can throw on that's actually in better shape. So any profit on any of this is now out the window pretty much. Because not only do we need a tire, which that that's just life, um, but the oil, the tire, it's not like we were making a profit anyways, but makes us feel good we just got to get it done but we got isaiah with us now so that was our issue we didn't have you to help us <laughs> it's like when i got stuck with the amish guy crew chief, crew chief wasn't here helping so. all right we're gonna get it done <laughs> we, you said that the other day too <laughs> all right if you want to drive that up I got one on it, I'll fill that and yeah, I want to be done. We got about three hours till it really starts snowing. I don't want Isaiah running the truck when it's really snowing. The other day was sketchy enough. So we're going to see if we can push through, get it all done. We should, but we're battling some things as you guys know. In the time it takes me to unload the grain tank, Isaiah topped me off. He's going to meet me at the other end. Without him, I'd be doing a lot of walking. So I appreciate his help. Um, we're all in this together. It's fun. Farming. Wow. This hillside really isn't bad now that it's frozen. Um, like, I would plant corn on it again. Granted, my long term is not putting corn on it. But now that it's frozen, it's actually doable. It's just we're having combine issues. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, sixteen. What am I doing? Right there. So I I split the end, so I want long runs the whole length. That way I can cut these short ones off after. We're gonna we're gonna get it done. As long as something doesn't significantly go wrong probably will at the rate we're going another night I should have just I should have done this the next morning and just pushed through instead of messing around because time is money and we spent I spent way too much time granted I stock shred and whatnot in between It's just frustrating. You guys know. Pretty good corn. It's just a, there's a battle up here on the hill in the mud. But even on the ground, flat ground, we've battled mud. So on the hill, you just can't steer. So most of this I've been doing in two wheel drive. And uh, it's been working very well. There's just a little dips and when you're trying to turn back and up and stuff like that. Yeah. Hopefully we get them a full load, so that will be two loads sent over there. I was figuring 45 ton, but because of it being wetter corn, wetter corn is lighter. So we might get 30 ton, might. Oh my god. I just 
it down the hill. Good thing about this is uh, there's no diff lock, so it wasn't engaged, so it just slipped the tire around the edge. Whew. That wagon just went clear sideways down the hill. That was my concern, and I'm, I'm very loaded with this. Uh, next load will not be as loaded because we will be done with uh, 2023 crop and 2024. That was a ride. Isaiah didn't even get on film. It is definitely gonna snow. So I moved it down to the end here. We got this little strip here, one little strip that goes this way. Everything is from here that way. It's four passes, half the field length. We should be, put it all in there, get wrapped up. <sighs> what a, <sighs> today I figured, oh, okay, we'll just hustle through this morning. Here we are, it's four o'clock and we're still going and Honestly, it's snowing and oh, on the ground, even though it's been freezing, it's good, but it's not great. So I'm gonna get a good load on the Mac though. and Hopefully we'll make something out of this and not, because right now we've lost a tire. We've lost a bunch of money in oil. But, yeah, we came down the hill here, so it's a little right here, but I'm hoping if I come across less of an incline, I don't know, a lot less corn on it. That was probably the biggest load of corn I've put on that with the 75. We got two passes left, and uh, we will be done. So turn the lights on, it's just overcast enough that getting cloudy and visibility's down. I'm gonna push through this, get the combine back down into the yard, and breathe for a minute. Honestly, we were supposed to work on the Kenworth today, um, so I'm sorry, Ethan. I know uh, I messed your schedule, well, I didn't mess your schedule up. But our plan was to do that today, so that will be sometime this week, if not next week. Hopefully sometime this week. I'll get it further along. Oh, we're sliding. We're gonna put the four-wheel drive on. Um, yeah, the snow is coming down. Nothing crazy yet, but it's gonna get really bad. Buzzards are going off and they don't actually they're still working properly. I've checked them. Really?
we'll just get down the hill, get this offloaded. Yeah, about a good big full. This should give them a good load. We're probably gonna go park this in Aaron's shop and then we can deliver it tomorrow um, once it stops snowing. Since the roads are, it's getting like, well, well you'll see when we get done. It's getting pretty uh, bad out. So, no point in running 40 minutes um, to have to run back and so on and so on. But that was a battle. Everything about this, well, 2023 was a battle. Some self-inflicted. Uh, so honestly, if I had planted earlier, I still wouldn't have got my crops off any better um, because it just rained the whole time. Maybe a little bit earlier, but like that hillside there, I would not, we'd still be doing it right now. So, uh, combine was good for a while and uh, we learned a lot. So we gotta do some investigation. I'm wondering if a vent's plugged and it's caused, it caused excess pressure because I see that it's uh, sucking in that tank a little bit. There's pressure on it, pulling it in. So, woo, right down the hill. Hoping I get back and I can just offload this. Not have to worry about any more oil, we can just be done. But I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of oil in between. down the hill should I get a ride <laughs> <laughs> I ain't walking that far we gotta grab the stuff that's laying around I'm just gonna pick up my pile of random stuff oh I forgot my the 75. 
Are we gonna make it down this hill without sliding around and pretty much dying? I'm not 100% sure, but I'll point you guys back there so you can see. Gotta warm up for a second. And that's it. So 7520 definitely earned its keep. Appreciate Aaron with the Oxbow. Um, would have been a long harvest without it. It came in very convenient. 
very very convenient so alrighty he's gonna freaking throw that at me yeah. appreciate Isaiah with the help the crew chief keeping everything going he did put the snow plow on you gonna come plow snow for me you gotta be ready for that stuff you know dude we're gonna we're gonna we're in, into plowing right no 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 snow really snow your old man said I gotta go grooming yeah, we'll get some footage of that. I'll, I'll go groom. Alrighty, that's the last load of 2024. Well, 2023 in 2024. It's a good load on it. Yeah. I appreciate... Nice with a banger. <laughs> appreciate all you guys for watching. <laughs> like, and follow and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll see you guys on the next one. It is going to snow. So probably snow removal and uh, battles. So 2023 harvest is over and... We're into 2024, hoping for a better year and see you guys on the next one.